all of our clients are thrilled with what happened today. A remarkable, surprising outcome in a tough case that became the epicenter of a national debate over police conduct. Prosecutors dropped all charges against Garrett Miller, William Porter, and Sergeant Alicia White. The remaining officers scheduled to go on trial in the police in custody death of Freddie Gray. I think the writing was on the wall, frankly, that uh, the state would continue to fail in its efforts to secure convictions. Judge Williams already acquitted Edward Nero, van driver Caesar Goodson, and Lieutenant Brian Rice in the case. Concluding prosecution evidence did not support the state's theory. Police acted unreasonably and disregarded general orders by not seatbelting Gray in the police wagon or getting him medical treatment when he asked for it. And if criminal charges were not brought, one must even further wonder whether our justice system is capable of bringing police officers to justice. The decision to drop charges came just before the start of a hearing requiring prosecutors to prove their case against Miller would not be tainted. The state granted Miller limited immunity to testify against his co-defendants. His statements could not be used against him at his own trial. But it put them in a very difficult position because they then had to show that no strategy they had in this case and no evidence they had was derived in any way from that compelled testimony. Legal experts believe the case succeeded in sending a message and that it led to significant changes in the police department. Cameras in the van, body-worn cameras, uh, changes in policy with regard to shackling and and handcuffing prisoners, uh, all of those things needed to be done. The officers are now back on the police payroll, but remain on administrative duty. They still face internal discipline outside police agencies are assisting in those decisions. Reporting live from Courthouse East, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News. All right, David.